Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War coming to you from the fine locale of I'm almost better, but will still probably be blowing my nose and coughing every now and then. War, Canuckville, Canada thing, you know. And this is the continuation of our Let's Play Random Walking Dead edition. So far, so good. We've managed to uh, only lose a single person that I believe dies no matter what. It's unfortunate that the child with a low IQ is still walking around, but hey, what can you do? Not all children are as amazing as Clementine. Uh, we're now moving on. Last time we left off, I believed every you know I believe everything was like oh everybody was like oh yeah we got now we got the thick board all built up and we built up this fence and we're gonna be good to go except for the fact that we're starving, and then the lights got turned out. So great. Let's find out how that all pans out, shall we? On the walking <clears throat> I know who you are. Oh, I What's got another good one for you. All right, that's a bit backwards. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Guys, racist as shit. All right, that was a weird. A weird recap that was kind of out of order and didn't really... Should we... The props for trying. Episode 2, let's go! <laughs> Three months later... Axe! We're pros at killing these things. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Bitches Just be crazy. Some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. <laughs> we'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Levy knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between well, the lack a redneck. of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, he does. He doesn't like black folk. He's yeah. just an old racist asshole. That's <laughs> his deal. 
Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You failure! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! You freaking failure! I want a chicken! I mean pigeon. Same thing with the fried. It all tastes the same. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us! We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis! Oh, maybe that they can is help. a bad time. This might time. be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you. I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can yeah, get okay. him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, his leg's gonna go. Somebody give him a bullet. Never, never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh, somebody do this. this. Is bad. Really bad. Just get me out. Please, please. there has to be a way out of this. We're gonna be surrounded any minute. Please, get me out. I'm sorry, bro. Bite the bullet. Try to cut the chain. Shit's gonna get real. Try the trap again. Let's go. Let's go. Bite the bullet, bitch. You're going down. Oh, shit. It has to be now. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, shit. Damn it, Lee just cut off. Go. Oh, that's just not right. Oh, hell. Oh! And you're passed out cold. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Tie the leg up now. Tie Survive. the leg Grab up let's go. now. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Run, you asshat! Oh, you... Oh, you're fucked. No! Yeah, dad was special forces. Maybe special needs. He acted like that. I just chopped a man's leg off. I just want to toss that out there.
Slam. Stop for a second. <coughs> it's us coming back, you doorknob. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Oh, for God's sake. I don't see any of you <coughs> stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Don't get another heart attack, old man. Bag of hammers. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. Except for, you, you know, know Kenny. I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Alright. That's uh, pretty easy for me. Well, let's think about this for two seconds. Who needs the most food? Children? No! They're basically sitting around in here all day. Somebody who goes out to get food. Yeah. Yeah, you, you could use some food. Somebody who's actually doing some work around here. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Oh my lord, this guy is killing me softly. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. <coughs> Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go.
All right, bro, look. You know what you're doing, but you got a terrible freaking shot. Now let me give you some food anyway, bro. So here, eat something. Uh, you're a man. You need some protein. Not some jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna give it to the freaking crazy bitch. There ain't no this should help. There ain't no hope in hell. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, because you're gonna kill Come somebody. On, Mary. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Yeah. Is that what you told him? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, it is. What are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. We're doing the talking there, old asshole. Friggin' bag of hammers. You're an old ass piece of shit, wrinkly ass, racist motherfucker. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Don't tell Where's me you're you hungry. I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend going to make it? No idea. No, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man Two you saved is Mr. Names. Parker, Great. the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he oh, decides Lord. to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. All right, you know what? I need to make... Oh, man, my voice is going. I need to make an executive decision here. I need to look at Kenny and his family versus... racist and Lily. Lily's smart... The big guy is as strong as an ox with a heart problem, and he's mildly racist. Kenny's family has the most useless child in the world, but he has an awesome wife, and he's... 
He tried to save me before. Who am I kidding? I'm going with Kenny. I can't go with a racist fuck. I, this guy's ridiculous. He tried to get me killed for God's sake. I have some food. Want something to eat? Uh. Have half an apple. Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. You kids are doing fine. How are you doing, Kenny? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Uh, it does sound like a hell of a lot better than being here, to be completely honest. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Uh, he doesn't look like he really wants anything to eat. That's not really the face of I want eat. Back in a bit. How you doing, Doc? Okay, me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Uh, you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Are you sure? You don't need any food or some shit? Alright. Let's go talk to the racist asshole. I'm willing to... It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Then why in the hell are you still here? Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Holy shit. It's... Mother of God. Keep up on that <coughs> fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. No, oh, no, fuck you. Fuck you straight to hell. Alright. Hey, kids. Actually, wait. <sighs> Man.
Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. But now, they accept no food. Never get too comfortable, lady. Comfort is what kills. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, it's... Well, you know what? Fuck it here. Tabs here. You look like you want food more than... Ah, oh, damn it. I don't want anything from you. What the fuck... Is... <sighs> I'm Space Jesus. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. I'm not trying to change shit. Oh, absolutely save the last piece for somebody uh, else. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Alright, Kenny. I need you to be in shape. Take Want the same food. Eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Fine. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Now, if this was... They were smart, they'd allow me to split this cracker and cheese between these two kids. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! 